It is time for Porter's Play. Sports director Chris Porter joining us live. All right, so we know the Jags lost. We know head coach Doug Marone is a big focus right now. And, and let me say, he does have a meeting with Shotcom, but throughout all of this, Chris Porter, it just seems like he's handled everything with a lot of grace, a lot of patience. And I think, generally speaking, fans like the guy. It's just, you know, you can't lose that many games and keep a job. How are we doing, Chris Porter? I'm doing good. Happy New Year to you, Lou. Happy New Year to you, Keith. Uh, I think you summed it up very well there. Doug Marone is a guy that you definitely uh, can't help but like. His players absolutely love him. But in the, at the beginning of the end of the day in the NFL, it's all about what have you done for me lately. It's all about winning in the NFL, and he has not done enough of that. Had one good year in 2017. We led the Jaguars to the AFC South Division title, and we came that Miles Jack. It was an interception, but they said it was not whatever that thing is. Stepped out. I can't remember really what happened. I just know Miles, whatever happened in the AFC Championship game, it, it should have worked in the Jaguars' favor. Anywho, after that, it was just downhill. 2018, uh, we thought that Blake Borders had taken the next step. We got off to that strong start, and then we had all those injuries, and we fell off. 2019, we bring in Nick Foles. That was a disaster. 2020, uh, it just did not work. And, and so, as much as we like the guy, as much as fans like the guy, I do think that Shad Khan is going to go in a different direction. They're scheduled to meet this morning, but I will say this, until it is made official by Shad Khan and the Jaguars, we, 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 all we can do is go on what we assume, because remember last year, Lou, uh, we heard the reports that Shad Khan was gonna fire uh, 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 um, um, Doug Marone after that Titans game, yep. and it did not happen. It was not true. And then we heard all of the rumors, and now we're going to get to Maya in just a second about you know the Jaguars are, are head over heels for him. He is going to be the next head coach. And then you heard Doug Marone said the press conference la conference last night that he talked with uh, Shaq Khan, and Shaq Khan uh, told him that news about the Jags hiring Urban Meyer was news to him. So we just got to wait and see. Yeah, you said it right. Right now, it's just all assumptions and rumors. <laughs> They're really heating up because we're hearing the Jags head coach job, Maker or Urban Meyer. You just mentioned that. That's if Urban actually wants it, right? So what do we know about that? Well, uh, pretty much what we've, what we've heard from several reports that this is Urban Meyer's job if he wants it. As we know, he is one of the best college football coaches of all time. Now, I don't mean to be a Debbie Downer here, but I want to also make sure that we point this out. Just because you have ton, tons of success uh, in college football does not necessarily mean that that is going to translate to the NFL. I'll give you some examples of a coach who, coaches who had tons of success in the NFL and it worked. One of them, Jimmy Johnson, had a lot of success, won a national championship with the Miami Hurricanes, went over to Dallas, he did his thing. Barry Switzer kind of came in uh, after Jimmy Johnson and Jerry Jones kind of fell out there. He had tons of success in Oklahoma. He won a Super Bowl, but here are a couple of examples where coaches have had tons of success and it has not worked. Saban. Nick Saban. You know him, the guy that is uh, being touted as the greatest uh, college football coach of all time. At that time, he had left LSU. We had won a national championship, went over to Miami, it didn't work. And then closer to home, former Gators head coach, Steve Spurrier had a lot of success at Florida, won a national title, went to uh, Washington, and it did not work in the nation's capital. Uh, so while Urban Myers won three national championships, while he's won everywhere that he's gone, if he is to be named the Jaguars head coach, and I'm being told from, or we're hearing reports that he'll have total control, be able to select his own GM, it does not necessarily mean that he will win on the NFL level. Although I do believe that in the situation the Jaguars are currently in with that top overall pick, all of the draft picks, the salary cap room, him having control, it is set up for him to win if he gets the job. In thinking about that number one overall pick, we know Clemson is done for the year, losing to Ohio State. That means Trevor Lawrence, the projected number one. I mean, it, it seems like projected number one um, now has to make a decision. And it is uh, assumed again that he will enter the draft. What do we know uh, the very latest with Trevor Lawrence? Here's the deal, uh, Lou. Number one, I feel like I'm losing sleep because I'm waiting on this guy to make the decision to come uh, to the NFL because, boy, do we need uh, 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 some good news because you have to believe that we will take him number one overall. He did say this after the college football playoff semifinal game lost to the Ohio State Buckeyes on Friday night, that he is going to take some time, get with his 
uh, fiance, get with his family, really talk this thing over. Keep in mind, uh, Trevor Lawrence and everybody who participated in college football, these young men went through a lot. It was a college football season like no other, having to deal with COVID-19, COVID protocols, people testing positive, having to sit out. He was also one of the uh, people out in front uh, uh, telling the big time officials in college football, allow us to have the season. And he also was one of the guys out in front during the Black Lives Matter uh, movement. So it has been a lot on his plate. I understand that, that this young man wants to take some time, but the bottom line is this, I do expect him to decide to forego his senior season, turn pro, and then the Jaguars to take him with that first overall pick. All right, Chris, we shall see. You have got a busy day ahead of you. Thanks for waking up with us dark and early. We'll be I talking do. to you throughout the day. All right, folks, it's now 51 minutes past the hour. Your GMG on the go is up next. We're going to give you all of your top headlines before you head out on this Monday morning.